Fuck your work going silo range. I can see why I'm still here. No, I'm Yo, hello? It's Slavika Sana Revy here, and today I will show you how to sync. If you want to elevate your editing skills, then make sure to check out Revy's Editing Visuals website and watch other tutorials on the channel. Also, if you want to support me as well, then my channel will be linked in the description. Let's begin. First, you need to know that if you press this button, your clip will look just smoother and it will add a little blur, so you should always have this button on your clips. And if you press this button twice, your clip will actually be less like, but sometimes there might be a really ugly frame that comes with this button. So you can just cut that frame out and just undo this. I have all of these clips which I just want to fit in 5 seconds of the song and in order to do that smoothly you can just sync them. Before starting to sync you should go to your song, press button L two times. Once you're in waveforms you need to understand what you need to be looking out for. As you can see this is going pretty smoothly right here and then there's this top point. This point is basically gonna be the point of transitioning and this is the point where we need to actually mark and let's listen to it. You heard that beat right? Now you just need to mark all of these high points so I found one here. I know a lot of editors do this. I do recommend doing it because you will uh, get better results. So you see high point another here, high point of the wave right here and I think this one will be the last one. Here we have our first clip. So what you want to press is Alt T and a time remap will pop up. Here you're going to want to pick the start of the frame and the end of the frame or it could not be the end of the frame but it could be one frame before the ending because sometimes if you have this button on it might just start to look a little weird at the ending. Now I'm just gonna go right here. When the wave goes up, I'm gonna cut it right here. Now you need to select both of these keyframes and press F9. And now we have to go to the most important part, the graph editor. Here in the graph editor, right here, is how to sync. If you point this up and you bring this close to it, this is going to be a very sharp sync. That's very sharp, but that usually works. So in order to make it a little more smooth, get it out a little bit, make it go a little down. If you make this go up, it's going to lag and it's just gonna come back. So don't go make it go up. Also, there's another really bad graph you can make. This is probably the worst graph in history of editing. I mean, this works like 1% of the times. So there are two ways to sync a clip, I personally think. One is just to make the graph something like this, and there's another way. The other way is to make it like this. This is my personal favorite way. You can even make it a little different if you go out of here and you press this button to make another keyframe, and then you come back here, and then you make this a little sharper, and this a little less sharp, and this one pretty sharp. Now it's going to have a really cool end. It will just be like a really fast ending, and the star will be fast as well. For this particular clip, I won't do it like that. I'll go back to it. I'll make it somewhere pretty sharp, pretty steeply as well. This one does need to be like this steep because that will be very sharp. And this one, and kind of smoothly down. This is a very smooth and sharp at the same time. So let's see how it looks. Now let's go to the second clip. This is a really long clip of just a car riding and we can make it to one second. So again, press Control alt t and select the first frame. Let's go to the ending. I'm just going to select not the last frame, but second to last. And I'm going to bring it right here. So I'm going to make this five second clip just into a one second. This is very common for editors too, to just make long clip really short. And it will also look very smooth because you have so many frames. But if the clip is too long, like 20 seconds or 10 seconds, then you should be careful. Careful. Right, now let's click on these two buttons. Let's not forget. This will make it very smooth. I'm going to go to the middle of the clip. Here I'm just going to click on this to make another keyframe because I want to make a different graph right here. So let's click on the graph editor. And here we have this graph that needs to be tweaked. At the start, I'm going to make it just pretty sharp. Uh, maybe not too sharp, actually. And this one, it needs to go out like this. Like it needs to make a line so it's smoother. And this one, I'll bring it right like this. Great. And look how this five second clip looks now. Let's show you another example. Let's go to the third transition. Again, this clip is also longer than just one second, but we're going to make it shorter. Press Ctrl Alt T here. Just click on this. Go back here. Make another keyframe. Let's go to where the wave goes up and let's delete the ending. Let's select them both and press F9. And let's go to the graph editor. This graph editor, I'll choose again one of my favorite graphs. Make this one go up and just make this one go down, but not too down. If you make it go like this down, it might lag right here. Just so you know, it might not. If you have a lot of frames in your video, I wouldn't recommend making it too sharp so something like this we have another cool frame Why? you see it does a little stop right here and then goes fast here we have another clip bring it to to your highest one of a waveform and press ctrl alt t and now click on this and go back to the ending and click on this and then we have our keyframes so just bring it back here here we're going to select both of these keyframes select the keyframes and press f9 this graph we're going to make it this type of a graph the one where the two dots are close to each other this is how it looks Why? 
eyes. I'm going to show another example. Press Alt T. Go to the start of your clip. Press this. Go to the ending of your clip. And press this. Now for this example, I'm going to go to the middle of the clip. Click on this. Maybe I'll drag it somewhere here. We need to drag these all right here. I'm going to make it go in the middle. I'm going to select them both. And I'm going to press F9. And again, pretty simple graph. Just point this up. Make it go come sort of closer to the dot. This one I'll make a little different. So it still needs to be like this, this line right here. But I'm going to extend this like you can just play around with your syncing like I'm doing right now. So this is going to make this go really fast the ending. I just noticed something. I forgot to put these on. So put them on. And also I forgot to do it on the other clip. Put them on. And on the other clip put them on. Alright. I have more examples. So I'm just going to bring them right here. Go to select this clip. Press Alt T. Select the frame right here. Go to the ending. Select the frame. Just bring the frame right where it's the where the waveform goes up. Go back here. Uh, I'm going to do another one of my favorite ways. In the middle, I'm going to press this button. Also, don't forget to press these two buttons. Make it smoother. Select the keyframes. Press F9. Go to the graph editor. I'll make it similar to everything else. Put these two dots here. Maybe this one I'll make a little sharper. I'm going to test out if it looks cooler on this clip. This is a pretty sharp graph, just so you know. And this is how it will look now. Yeah, yeah. Let's get another clip to sync. Press Alt T. Keyframe it here. Go to the ending. Keyframe it here. Now bring it down here. Let's search for the middle point. So this is the middle point. Select them. Press F9. Literally the same graph. I recommend syncing like I'm syncing right now. I showed you a lot of examples, so I think you understand how to sync now. Another tip I could give you is to press Ctrl Alt Y and have your adjustment layer on top of every layer that you have and go to effects and presets and select motion tile and put it on top of it. Change the output height to make it lower than 100. I recommend somewhere 90. You can even make it 80. Some people do 70. This is for movies sort of. For this clip, I think 90 looks very cool. This gives it a really cool cinematic look. Also, when you're done with syncing, you should then start thinking thinking about transitioning between the clips. I have made a transitioning tutorial on the channel, so you should definitely check it out. And you can also sometimes add one frame glitches, which is also a, a tutorial that I recommend checking out. Also remember how the graphs work. This is very sharp. This sharpness doesn't work usually, so just make it a little less sharp. Just bring it a little down. This is personally my favorite graph. And also if you just go in the middle here and come back here and press on this and go back here, you can even make a cooler graph. Remember these free graphs. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials which could help you test out your syncing abilities and more all right have a productive day see ya just so i got my head in the grip yeah they want to copy the drip with a people like me but they know